Uh, lots of guests on the show. Shams is here. I want to talk about Julius Randle. I want to talk more about Devin Booker. Do not put that Devin Booker thing on the internet. Oh, Jordan Bell! Wow, you are a big guy. We've got him, the Bama star. Next. We're almost with single digits, baby. The countdown continues. The NFL draft 10 days away in Kansas City. Uh, our first guest today, a college football national champion. He's got the hardware, baby, playing four years at the University of Alabama, one of the best safeties, I'm sorry, the best safety in the draft. Please welcome Jordan Battle. Hey, Jordan. Hey, how you doing? I'm great. Maybe we should have some uh, intro music for you because, listen, you got moves in that locker room. I'm watching. There's dance battles going on. Talk me through. And by the way, I particularly liked this one uh, from last season. What's going on here? <laughs> uh, I was called into the spot. I, ain't, I didn't want to dance because, like, sometimes I just Looks don't want to show it. But yeah, I don't. But I can dance. So whenever they call me to the spot, uh, I got to accept the challenge and, and go and show them what I can do. Uh, right, I was just doing it. Jordan, I started doing you, like on Florida. Jordan, what do you look like when you want to dance? If that's you not wanting to dance? Mm, I guess I have to find out. Mm, you have signature celebrations. Mm -hmm. you, is the NFL ready for you? Do you have something in the works? I don't think they're ready for my dance moves. <laughs> my dance moves are just different. They're amazing. Now imagine this scenario. Wherever you go, you pick off Bryce Young. You take it to the house. What's the touchdown move going to be? Mm, we talked about this, but, uh, <laughs> hmm. What do you mean you talked about I it? Think, you said Bryce, I'm picking you off in the NFL? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How did that conversation go? You know, it was, it was mellow. It was nothing, you know, we didn't take it personally, but, uh, obviously when we do play, it's probably going to be personal until the end of the game, but, uh, you know, it's all love for Bryce, um, but but in practice it was the same go pick Bryce off. So uh, there's nothing gonna be like it's nothing gonna be different but from practice at Alabama. What's the key to picking off Bryce Young? You have to you have to trick him because he knows he knows how to trick trick the opponent or the or the DB. So you have to be able to to, to read his eyes, but kind of kind of not always read his first read because he's not always going to where he's looking first. Uh, he's a he's a smart quarterback, the most intelligent quarterback I've practice against or even seen with my own eyes. So just just knowing that. It's well said, and he might go number one in the draft in 10 days. But we're wanting to know where Jordan Battle's going to go. Lots of teams are interested. And I want to know a little bit about your story, because there's NFL fans that are sort of meeting you uh, in this interview. Mm -hmm. You could have left after your junior year, right? I, I remember, your, I don't watch college ball, but I remember your name being brought up. There were experts that I really hold in high regard predicting and projecting you as a high round pick in last year's draft. And then all of a sudden it was like, nope, he's going back for his senior year. What made you do that? Yeah, um, I would say the, the, the main reasons was to, to graduate. My mom wanted me to graduate college. Uh, and, and that was something that I, that I took and, and ran with. And I actually ended up graduating last year uh, in December last semester. And um, that, that made her proud. And then uh, the other reason was something that we didn't accomplish, but um, we still had a great season, uh, but I wanted to win another national championship. Um, we didn't accomplish that, but we did end the season well, uh, went and played uh, Kansas State before the last game of the season and, and went out there and dominated. And uh, the decision to, for, for all the seniors and all the guys who were, who were deciding to leave to uh, play in that game uh, was, was another thing that, that went into to the season and, and going in the leadership that we just built it and uh, the, the the togetherness for all of us to go in and play and not not sit out like yeah. other players would do and go in there and, and dominate was a, a beautiful thing to see. I think it's beautiful that you wanted to finish college. I think it's a risk. I think it might have not paid off. Anything could have happened, but nothing happened. You crushed it, and the experts this year are singing your praises again, if not more. Mike Renner over at PFF, and he does all the analytics. These teams are looking at these numbers. He marked you as a, a high floor safety, plug and play starter from day one. There's a lot of you know comparisons being made. You, Jordan Battle, you tell me, what is the strongest part of your game? Yeah, I would just say uh, my, my smarts on the field, um, how, how I play off instinct, um, how I can how I can be a versatile guy. I can be moved in the box. I can be a deep field safety. I can play in a slot. So uh, just being versatile and um, trying to be kind of being smart and, and studying film 
and kind of knowing what the offense is giving me before I even play the game. Uh, just going to the game with confidence and, and being comfortable out there. You played your whole college career at Bama. You almost played three, but you almost didn't play any over there. You finished with a four-year career uh, under the stewardship of Nick Saban. You originally were committed to the Ohio State. What did Saban say to you? What was his pitch that made you pick Bama? Well, it was like uh, um, in 2019, that was the year uh, Urban Meyer had resigned. So I had to, I had kind of opened up my recruitment again because I wasn't sure if the whole defensive staff would stay, which they ended up all leaving. Smart. And um, I, yeah, Coach Shiano, who was the, the DC, Coach Grinch, who was the safeties coach, and Tabor Johnson was the corners coach. They all had one had went to the NFL, one went to Oklahoma, and one had went to um, Rutgers. So I had to open up my open up my recruitment again, and it was almost like. Dang, who who am I gonna go to now? But yeah. then after that, you seen uh coach coach uh Kirby, it was Coach Smart and Coach Sabin who came in on the same day. And it was like uh that who am I gonna choose because these are two tough these are two tough schools. Yeah. But um when Coach Sabin came, it was it was I kinda it kinda reminded me of like my high school. Uh, I had to work for my position in high school. I had to earn my spot in high school and um just just Coach Sabin coming in and, and, and saying it just felt different. It's the greatest it's the greatest uh, college coach to, to ever coach. And um, just going into a, to a place like Alabama, being able to, to earn a spot and, and get on the field early, uh, it was like unreal. He seems like a real uh, intense guy. Like a real, like I would not pick him to be on his team he's coaching because <laughs> I want an easy ride. Uh, does uh -huh. he have tender moments? Like does he have moments where he lets it loose or lets his guard down or is it just nonstop, you know, foot on the gas? Nah, he he definitely has his soft size, um, and I feel like and I feel like Miss Terry plays a, a key mm. role in, in his soft side as well. Uh, she loves the players, uh, he and he loves them just as much as Miss Terry does. And uh, usually, usually he he'll, he'll invite us over his house, um, cook us dinner. Sometimes guys may not have dinners, but um, if guys need a dinner or anything. Uh, you could go to Miss Terry. You go to Miss Coach Saban, and, and they'll always offer. Jordan, who's cook? Who's cooking? What do you mean he co he's cooking dinner, or Miss Terry's cooking dinner? Most most likely, it'll, it'll be if we're if it's planned, it'll be catered. Yeah, I was gonna say. No, I don't, I've, I'd love to see Nick Saban in an apron making a little souffle for dinner for everybody, mm -hmm. but I didn't think it was gonna happen. Okay, I love that. Now yeah. Alabama, such a powerhouse program, so we love asking about it because it's you know it's it's we've seen a lot of success making that jump to the NFL. I read that you said that Heisman Trophy winner Devontae Smith, who's now with the Eagles, took you in when you got there. What did you learn from him, and how are you expecting Bama to help you make the transition to the NFL? Yeah, uh, Devontae Smith was a was a was a hardworking guy. Uh, he's one of those guys who who will stay after hours, um, catching balls or, or doing whatever it takes to to be that that Heisman winner that he is and that he was. Um, so so the main thing coming to Alabama was to to put your head down and, and work. Um, when you got in the first day, you're gonna have to work. Uh, wake up early as a freshman. You're gonna wake up, go to six thirty workouts every morning. Um, just just preparing your mind for that. Uh, knowing that you have to be responsible for yourself now, you don't have your parents to to tell you wake up or or do your work. So um, just being just growing to a man early uh, in early stages at Alabama um, was was a thing that would that would help you and help others uh, be be successful. And uh, that was one thing I did. I, I was very hardworking. Got in yeah. Got in extra work when I needed to. Uh, went and got film extra film after practice, before practice, just so I know what I can do to what I what I can do to get on the field. So uh, being able to practice comfortable was a was a big thing for me, and when you practice comfortable and, and not thinking too much, it was allows you to play faster. Now Devontae Smith is just one of the guys. Jerry Judy, Jalen Waddle. When they're when you're watching them make plays on Sundays last year, and you decided to go back to school and do that, were you a little like, mm, I want to get out there and break up their play? <laughs> yeah, a little bit, but it was like, uh, your time is coming, so so just be patient. <laughs> Yeah, your time is coming. Just be patient. Uh, you'll be out there before you know it. And look, it's it's about what ten days away from the draft. Yes. Uh, yeah. Now and now it's here. So now I'm ready.
You, I'm scared of you in the NFL. These boys, listen, I like fantasy football. Don't do me like that. I like points. I like, I, I like a, you know, a, a game to have a big score so I can enjoy touchdown dances and all that. So, yeah. uh, but you, <laughs> you, you're another thing. And, and if, if, yeah, I don't know. If you play half as well as you dance in this NFL, woo, we got a, a, a monster <laughs> on our hands. All right, we're going to have a little fun with you before we go. Um, we're going to just do a, a quick would you rather. We're going to get to know you a little bit. Would you rather um, have the superpower of invisibility or flight? Flying. Definitely flying. I don't want to be invisible. I want people to see me. And they will. And they will. How about get an interception or get a sack? Interception. Who are you intercepting? Let's manifest this. Let's. Which which NFL wide receiver? If you could pick one right now. Break up the play. Pick one. Uh. Let's go. Um. Stephon Diggs. Stephon Diggs. Oh, boy. Now, yeah. he might have DeAndre Hopkins up there in Buffalo before all is said and done, so we'll see. Uh, it'll be hard mm. to cover them. I know. That would be really hard with Josh Allen to cover all of them. Um, would you rather, for a month, eat only burgers or only pizza? Uh, only burgers. Okay. Would you rather ride on the... What is this? Would you rather ride on the back of a stampeding buffalo or on the back of a dolphin? I'd rather ride on the back of a dolphin. Yeah. Is that like a trick? Yeah, I don't know. No, I think it's a dumb question. Absolutely. You would want to be uh, on a dolphin. Um, okay, that's it. B before we let you go, what do you want NFL fans, coaches, GM, scouts, everybody who's talking about you without knowing you, what do you want them to know about you before this draft? Um, just that I'm a, I'm a high character guy. Uh, I have a great personality. Uh, every building I walk in, uh, my my goal is to make someone smile uh, because I'm always smiling. Uh, you'll never know I'm having a bad day because the way I carry myself. Uh, and if even if I'm having a bad day, I don't really mm. have too many bad days. Um, I'm just a positive guy who who's gonna inspire others around me, um, who's just gonna motivate others around me. I want all of us to win. Uh, I want all of us to have that same goal of, of winning a Super Bowl and, and being a winning team. Uh, anything I can do to, to, to make a program be a winning program, uh, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I love that. And I'm, I'm just telling you right now, I'm rooting for you to go in the division where Bryce Young lives. That's all I want. I want twice a year, <laughs> you versus Bryce. So whatever Bryce Young, I'll say he goes number one. Great. Then I'm going to be rooting for you to be in that division where he decides to go. Jordan Battle, it is so nice to meet you. Enjoy. You have a perfect NFL name. The jersey writes itself. Like, I, who doesn't want a Jordan Battle NFL jersey? Enjoy <laughs> these moments. I know they're weird and they're tough and they can be uncomfortable and you get asked all these crazy, dumb questions. But uh, it's nice to get to meet you. Don't forget about us when you're an all-pro. I want it all. Nice to meet you as well. Wait, teach me a dance move before you go. Can you give me a little? That was a, I was I was not ready for that. Give me a little something. Give an old lady um, something to work with. I would say like just get ready for like just walk right here when I do this. Okay. That right there. And that's a dance move. Mm-hmm. Okay, so go right, you can't see my legs. You can't see my. What legs. are you doing with your legs? It's like I'm going in and out with them. Yeah, like there that? you go. That's it. Yeah, I can I can see it. I, I'm not. I don't get the whole. I can't see the whole view. Yeah, but I can see you got it down. It's not pretty, Jordan. You don't want to see the whole view. We love you. We'll talk to you soon. Enjoy draft <laughs> weekend, Jordan. Battle from Bama to NFL and then to NBA. Listen, if Devin Booker doesn't turn around, that play doesn't happen, Shams. Shams up next. <laughs>